Ooh. So, Ruby, Kevin, Sherry, all had to go to court today, right? For, um, this is the custody matter. This is not the criminal case. Sorry, I'm a little groggy today because I just started physical therapy again for my leg. So it's it's been a kind of a tough day. All right, this is a short update because this um, this court case is sealed for the protection of the children. Now there are certain things that may come up within this court case that have been a matter of public record, such as um, Kevin threatening to sue Sherry or try to get criminal charges against her for retrieving items for the two children within her custody right now. And there was a lot of passive aggressive anger in that police body cam footage. That'll come up on this. Ruby Frankie has traveled back from St. George to Utah County. She arrived yesterday and today she will be in court for the custody. Now, when she says traveled, um, basically what's going on is when you have multiple cases going on, and you're staying in a facility that is not close to, it's kind of, think of Orange is the New Black, because they they did this in at least one of their seasons where they were transporting the, um, the prisoners around to attend their court cases. Um, this is kind of the same thing. Like when, when they say transported, it's not like, a friend came over and picked her up and they just uh, drove the three hours or however long it takes to get from um, Ivan's to um, Spring Springfield Springville Spring, uh, whatever it's called I think it's Springville uh, this is she had to she had to ride like a prisoner bus to get up to this court case because she's still in custody. Custody hearing of her underage children. Yesterday, her oldest daughter, Sherry, posted on her Instagram, and this is just so touching. I want to read the entire thing. There's literally not even words to describe how upside down my life has become. I've cried and had an infinite number of panic attacks, had way too much ice cream, and yet, life goes on therapy has literally saved me but god has too my life is somehow becoming more beautiful and fulfilling despite all the terrible things going on i've tried to live my life to the fullest the last few weeks even though all i want to do is hide away in my apartment i do have my days tomorrow is another big court day and I'd appreciate your prayers and thoughts for our family and myself. Words can't express the gratitude I feel for you all, and I feel your love. Isn't that absolutely touching? It's just horrendous, all the things that these children are going through. Sherry is 20 years old and just assumed custody of two of the children. Uh, I think it's the teenage daughters. So that might be a little less complicated as a young person. Um, it might not. It, it might not be. Um, because at this point, you know, with such abusive parents, the kids all might start acting out and trying to work through their trauma and working through um, whatever behavioral issues could potentially result from the way that they were treated by these three people, which is Jody Hildebrandt, Ruby Frankie, and Kevin Frankie. Um, 
I would be shocked if the judge gave custody to Kevin. There's no way that you can just give it to Ruby because she's currently being held on no bond. And, um, and she's being charged with, um, felony child abuse. So that's impossible. I don't, I don't see how, uh, the judge can be like, yeah, yeah, sure, Ruby. You can have custody of your kids, but, oh, wait a minute. You can't really take care of them because you're behind bars right now, right? I think that the the right thing for the judge to do would be to say we need to see what the outcome is in your criminal case um, to see if you're even going to be available to be a parent. And I just wanted to say that I hope that we as a society following this case can be kind to those children no matter what. I think they should get the benefit of the doubt 100% all of the time because this is horrendous. It'll be interesting to see what happens in court today. Will Ruby be given partial custody, even though she's out, will be taken right back to jail in St. George for the charges against her? If you don't know what this case is about, I will put a link up here. And I also have done quite a few videos but the fact is, Ruby Frankie and her business partner, Jody Hildebrandt, are in jail awaiting a hearing. They haven't even had their bail hearing because the judge in St. George wants to wait until after the custody hearing has been finished in Utah County. So who knows, maybe that will happen today. And then the court in St. George, the case against Ruby and Jody Hildebrandt in St. George can then move forward. To be honest with you, I even wonder if Kevin should be able to get custody of these children based on all of the things that have been going on. Even though he's been out of the house for the last 13 months, he certainly does not seem like he's doing his best to protect the children based on him trying to get his own daughter thrown in jail. Look at this body cam footage. There you go. Is it all there? I, yes. Yeah, explain to me again why this was not robbery. Because it's a civil issue. It's You guys are family. She's been in the house before. You haven't been in the house in a year. Um, she had interest in the items. She didn't take them with the intention to deprive you of them. So theft, that's the theft code. We have to prove intent to deprive you of the items. Um, and that wasn't her intent in having them. So the detective sergeant said that we're not going to. Yeah, seriously, um, you're having a fit over electronic items that you abandoned when you abandoned your family, and they're probably obsolete at this point. These are probably the items that the kids use to play video games on, and so you're, you're trying to slap everybody at the same time, basically. Um, just because you, you want to be a, a, a sore, angry fucking loser because you made the mistake of abandoning your house, your family, your possessions. And um, guess what, buddy? That's what happens. Like, I was advised back in 94 by my divorce attorney don't you dare leave where you're living and don't you let go of your child because the minute he takes your child on a visitation before you've established custody, he can claim nine ten what is it nine out of ten possessions uh, I can't remember the expression. Um, possession is nine-tenths of the law, something like that, right? 
my divorce attorney told me not even to allow for um, off-site visitations until we got it established in court. Um, you got like the worst possible advice ever. You went ahead and accepted it. And um, so, no, you can't just like walk into the house and be like, what happened to these obsolete electronic items? Oh my God, even. Kevin's horrible. Charger for anything. Some more research on that. You're welcome to do that. If you want to follow up with their technician yourself. Okay. Yeah, he'll be here on Tuesday. His name's Sergeant McCoy. Okay. You're welcome. Take care. After the police raided his home that he hadn't been in for 13 months and Ruby was thrown in jail, <laughs> the oldest daughter, who does not live at home, was able to go, was allowed to go into the home to get things for two of the other sisters, daughters, daughters of Kevin, that they might need while they're not living at home. And immediately, Kevin wants his daughter arrested for robbery. He does not appear to me like he is interested in the best interests for his own children. Nope. All he cares about is himself. Should he be given custody that's not even talking about what other allegations might come out against him the more and more i see about kevin the more i question mm, i don't know it'll be interesting to see what happens in court today will kevin be given custody of his underage children or will sherry or will they be in foster care? What will happen? A lot will be said today. I have traveled to Utah County so that I can see what I can see. I am hoping to be able to see them coming or going from the courthouse. If I get more information, I'll do another post later on today. So hopefully this case can start moving forward. I do think it's interesting that Kevin would immediately go after his daughter rather than protecting his children. I, it's unbelievable to me that he wants her arrested for robbery for a few note, you know, like computers or whatever, instead of him saying, oh my word, there is so much trauma going on. I've got to get to the bottom of this. But the most important thing is I need to protect my kids. That does not seem to be the case. Will that be used against him when he is trying to get custody of his children because right now he doesn't have it. Now, when I say I'm going to report on it, I'm not going to report anything that the judge has said that shouldn't be public knowledge. I'm saying I would like to catch him coming or going from the courthouse because I want to see his demeanor. That's and really, quite frankly, if I could catch Ruby coming and going, I think that the children. You're going to have to definitely check on that because. My understanding is that part of that court order, the sealed court order, is that you can't take pictures of them coming or going either. So there might be like a certain distance away that you can be, like maybe it's 100 yards or something like that, but you're going to have to look into, like, you, you definitely can't do it from inside the court halls. But, um, I don't know, potentially outside, I would talk to, like, a media person and find out, like, what do you know about, like, how close we can get? Need their privacy. Now, remember, if you haven't already, subscribe to A Life Without Parole so that you can catch all my videos. Yeah, she has a good channel. I highly recommend it. A Life Without Parole.